Hello, this is Gaming Master, and we're going to be playing some more of Kirby and the Forgotten Lands. Uh, in the last episode, we finished all both of World 4, and I thought I finished all the treasure roads and all that, uh, but I just found out, yeah, there is a treasure road I did miss, which I was kind of, uh, kind of figured out a little bit in, in the last episode, but I couldn't really find it. I knew there was, like, two hidden ones, I only found one hidden one, but now I found this one, so let's do this one. It's going to be the Meta Knight Sword Treasure, so it looks like, uh, starting off with some battling. Here I go, so far it's just battling. Gotta take these guys out. I love these beam attacks. These beam attacks are awesome. Yeah, I can just, I, lo I, lo and I love this weapon too. It's one of my favorite weapons in this game, so I really enjoy this weapon as well. Uh, but okay, so I'm just, so far we're still just battling. This might just be all battles, I don't know. Okay, well, I took damage, that's sad. Okay, I'm just gonna now spin attack these guys. You know, I still have beams. I thought I could only use beams on full health. <laughs> that's, that's interesting. I thought I could only use beams on full health, but apparently apparently, I'm able to use beams even with full health. That's cool, okay. Uh, okay, it looks like we can also get Wild Edge. <laughs> I've been fighting Wild Edge a lot, because he's, like, you have to fight him on the Battle of Blizzard Bridge. And I've, I was playing that level over and over again. Uh, so yeah, I've been fighting him a lot, as you saw in the last episode. Just trying that level a lot. But anyway, there we go. So we finished that. That's, uh, the Meta Knight Sword Treasure on Wild Mode. So there we go. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode where we take on World 5. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.